Even more protests expected this morning, and that includes right here in North Texas, where police are hoping everything remains peaceful. Kennedy is live in Dallas with more. Kennedy, good morning. Hey, good morning, Keith. Yeah, that protest kicks off in about an hour. And if it's anything like last night's, we can expect hundreds of people to be protesting here in downtown Dallas, protesting against that decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Now, like how you mentioned, the police are aware about the protest that's happening this morning, and they have no plans on interfering, they say, as long as it remains peaceful. Yesterday's federal police put up gates around both entrances of the federal building and boarded up all of the windows in anticipation of protests that get out of hand. The ruling was met with both anger and excitement. Those in fa favor of the law getting overturned say this is something they've been waiting for for nearly 50 years, while others say they are upset and disappointed that the nation is going backwards. And statewide, Keith, all abortion clinics did close yesterday. Again, that protest kicks off at 10 a.m. Back to you. Kennedy, we know you'll be there, and we will check in with you in uh, just a bit. Uh, there are also uh, several rallies planned by opponents of abortion rights. Later this morning, the Students for Life Action Organization will hold their Life is Louder rally outside the Texas, Texas Capitol building in Austin and several other state capitals across the country. The organization says it's a celebration meant to, quote, mark the beginning of an even more concentrated pro-life effort at the state level, end quote.